Hello, I'm going to do the Gemini reading. And this is a timeless reading, so this is for whenever you feel drawn to hear this message. Also, this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, that's fine. Um, I have other videos on my channel if you feel drawn to one of those. Um, if not, I completely understand and to just choose the energy that you resonate with. All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Holly King, which is the Hermit. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Moon. And for overall energy, we have the King of Cups. All right, so for overall energy, we have the King of Cups, and that represents, I mean, just look at him, look at him at this table. I mean, look how happy he is. He has a full feast in front of him. He's got some bees that are around him, but that's representing, you know, positive. That represents, you know, good things, like things moving forward. Um, he has, he's feeling emotionally happy. He's got his cup up in the air. And he's really feeling like he has it all. Um, for current energies, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So with this Four of Pentacles here, this person is kind of standing there and they're arranging the pentacles and they're inside of the house and they see that there is somebody at the door, but they are thinking about it before they let them in or are they not letting them in? So I feel like that this represents you here. It's like, well, there's somebody that's been around you and you're trying to decide, do I let them in? Do I wait before I let them in? Do I not let them in? Do I take that time to myself? Because Four of Pentacles is about focusing on yourself. It's about you keeping to yourself, wanting that alone time, wanting your time to rearrange things to where you feel more comfortable. Sometimes we need that time alone to recharge, to charge our batteries, to figure things out on ourselves. We kind of, we appreciate that there are people around us that care, but sometimes we just need that time to figure things out on our own. We also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is those rewards, that happiness, that excitement. You know, the kids are running around, they're playing, they're feeling good. You know, things are working, things are happening. And it's like, okay, yeah, I put a lot of work in. Now it's time for me to have some fun. Now it's time for me to relax. We have the Three of Wands, and that represents looking out towards the future. But in this particular deck, it's this person is standing here, and there's people up here, and this represents working together to make things happen. Like this person could not load this boat by themselves. They need the help of other people, and it's everybody working together to make things happen. So it could be that, you know, maybe you're thinking about how do you achieve a goal how do you get past something it may be working together with someone else and you know trying to figure out how to move forward we have the ace of swords which is overcoming a difficult situation and it's always it's also about new beginnings aces are new beginnings so in the current energy i feel like you're kind of thinking about what it is that you want to do in a situation whether you want to wait it out whether you want to let the situation or person in but I feel like you need that alone time to find those answers to sort it out and then once you do then you're you're able to move forward then you're able to um, progress with this situation for future energies we have the six of wands we have the holly king which is the hermit the two of swords and the moon so I feel like for future energies it is rising above a situation like the six of wands is rising above success and victory people are cheering him on you know the birds flying he's riding the big you know white horse and he has a smile on his face he's wearing red everyone else is kind of in the darker colors he's standing out the holly king the hermit that is you know taking that time to look within and illuminate that path that you want to take and there may be somebody that you have to leave behind because right there we have a person in the window that's kind of looking out where this hermit is you know, they're walking away. They are kind of going down their own path. So I feel like that may be a decision that you need to make. Maybe it's a permanent one. Maybe it's just a temporary one. But I feel like for you to find your answers, you, you really need that alone time 
Two of Swords. Two of Swords is making a decision. It's about looking at both sides of the situation, the negative, the positive. If I do this, then this is probably what's going to happen, and that's the path I'm going to take. If I do that, then this is probably what's going to happen, and that's what's, that's you know the path that I'm going to take. I feel like either you are the person that's reaching out trying to communicate, or are you the person that's kind of standing back and saying, oh, wait a minute. Like, what are you saying? What are you doing here? Let, let me let me figure this out. I'm kind of feeling you're more like this person, which is standing back because we have the Hermit card, because we have this Four of Pentacles. Pentacles. Maybe you feel like some someone or something is coming towards you, and you're like, I need to sort this through first. I'm not clear on what it is that I want to do. I need that alone time, okay? And that's okay. And that's really important for people to figure that out. Instead of just being surrounded by energy that kind of irritates them or doesn't help them to move forward, but realizing, hey, I need my alone time. But also being very careful that you communicate to that person if there are people around you that you communicate and you say, hey, I just need some alone time. It doesn't have anything to do with you. It has everything to do with me. This is what I need to sort through how I feel before I react, before I make a choice. I need this time to myself. Rather than just backing away where people feel like, well, what's going on? What's happening? Why are you doing this? And they people interpret things the wrong way. It doesn't mean you have to tell them exactly what's going on, but just... You know, they, you don't have to tell them every detail, but at least to give them an overall, hey, I need this time to myself. You know, hey, I have to sort some things out just to let them know. Thinking about things, sorting things out. I feel like that's what you need to do. We have the ego, which is, you know, victory. We have the king of pentacles, which represents somebody who is patient, somebody who takes it, his time. I feel like the king of, of pentacles is somebody that before he makes a move, he looks at the negative, he looks at the positive, he weighs things out. He, the King of Pentacles is somebody who's very good in business and business strategies. In order to be good in business, like you have to see like the big picture, but then you also have to see the details. So it's like you have to look at everything in the situation and to be clear on that before you make a move. And I feel like that's sort of the energy of you is looking at all of the different things before you make a decision on something. Could have to do with a relationship. Could have to do with a relationship with another person. It could have to do with the relationship with yourself. Um, what is it that you want to do for you? Making better choices for you. But it could also have to do with a relation. Like I said, there's a person standing at the door here. And then there's this, these two people here where one's kind of standing back, you know, is it, does it have to do with another person? We have the five of pentacles, which is a temporary hardship. So this is just something that is temporary. I do feel that you are in the process of working through this. Um, but again, having that alone time, I feel really helps things to move forward and having hope, ha you know, staying positive in this situation. This may be a situation that's really frustrating. That's really heavy for you. Um, but it is knowing those steps that you need to take in order to move forward like number one realizing that there's a problem there's an issue there's a situation that you have to deal with and then number two what are those things that you need to do to figure this out to find those answers to move forward you know kind of always moving forward in this progress rather than just sweeping it under the rug and ignoring it because I feel like it has to do with the overall energy of this king of cups is being happy feeling fulfilled um and I feel like that's where you're trying to get but you have things that you have to rise above you have things that you have to deal with there are maybe some things that you need to let go of the death card is about holding on to something that is no longer useful to us, that is holding us back from moving forward. And I feel like that's what you need to look, on, look at. What is that thing? What are those things, the people, situations, feelings? Is it your own perception of yourself? Are you being your biggest cheerleader or are you, you know, going against yourself? What are those things that you need to let go of in order to transform and move forward? Getting back to something. Is there something that you used to do that you really liked? Is there a relationship that you really liked? Do you feel like you're disconnected within a relationship? Is there a relationship you feel that the two of you are disconnect, disconnected? You're disconnecting from it. And you looking within and figuring out why are you disconnecting? Why are you feeling that way? Why are you feeling like you want to step back or put walls up around you? And then figuring that out and then moving forward. Um, 
Knight of Cups, and then reaching out and making sure that you communicate. I feel like that's reconnecting. I feel like you're kind of disconnected and then you reconnect. I feel like you come back together. But I also feel that this represents that you're in an emotionally better place, that you're happy. Um, it could be somebody from your past that maybe you want to reconnect with. Maybe you were dating someone or you were seeing someone. And you grew apart, but I don't feel that it was a negative one. And, you, and, and maybe, you know, you just grew apart from each other. And then you were thinking about this person and you're like, okay, I want to get back together. I, I want to reconnect with this person. You've taken that time to sort through your feelings, sort through what it is, that how you're feeling. And when you really think about it, you're like, you know what? I really liked my relationship with that person. I really had a good time with that person. We had a lot of fun. I feel like back then when we were together, they had stuff to do. I had stuff I had to work through. I wasn't ready for a relationship then. But now you feel like you are ready to reconnect, you know, if, if that's what's going on with you. Or it's a relationship that you've been in for a very long time with someone and you've, you know, when you're in a relationship for a long time, you, you, you each grow individually at different rates, you have different perspective, it's not the same as when you first were together and is that you're going in different directions and kind of seeing that and saying, okay, how do I fix that? Do we come back together or do we go our separate ways? What's going to make me happy? What's going to make that person happy? Something needs to change with that. You know, is this relationship going to evolve into something that is closer that, you know, where you feel that connection between the two hands? But that's definitely something that you have to decide and figure out for yourself. And I feel like that's why you need that alone time is to figure those things out as well. You have to know what you really want, what do you really want to do, and then putting 100% energy effort into that. You can't just partially do it because then you're not happy, they're not happy, and just the whole situation is not happy. And I feel that you have to really look within and find those tough answers for yourself on how you're really feeling. And sometimes people don't want to face that. But I feel like with this reading, it's like that person that's coming face to face with, yeah, I really have to figure out what it is that I want. And I feel I'm kind of feeling strongly. I mean, obviously, you have to do what works for you. But for this reading, I'm feeling like this person that this reading is for that person that feels like, yeah, they want to um, reconnect with that relationship because that makes them feel happy and fulfilled. But it could also be just having that relationship with themselves and making those choices that are better for them and that makes them feel happy and fulfilled all right so all right so these two one or two one this one popped out and it's beaver spirit lay a solid foundation like i was saying whatever it is that you decide to do whatever those answers that you're looking for <clears throat> within and you find those answers then commit to that 100% and lay a sound and solid foundation on that relationship. If it's restarting this relationship, if it's getting back together, if it's the relationship with yourself, like you decide that you want to be single, you want to be by yourself, but having that strong foundation for yourself so that you're in a good place, so that if you have a relationship that comes in in the future, that you feel strong, like you're not carrying baggage with you, you know, that you're like, okay, I know what I want and I know what I don't want in a relationship. Um, and you are confident in that and so that you're laying a solid foundation for your next relationship or it's this relationship that you um, you lay a stronger foundation within this relationship because you are committed 100% to get back into this relationship and you feel committed to that relationship and you are you will fully be there all right Beaver Spirit, he's so cute with the little headdress on there. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.